Welcome everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about how 18 year old truck drivers are affecting the driver shortage. If any of you who don't know who I am, my name is Amrit and I help and coach trucking companies all across the US and Canada to help recruit, retain more truck drivers and grow their trucking business. So in order for these younger drivers to be eligible and to be made into drivers that can travel across the United States, they have to go through a training program. Now the first requirement is that they have to be put in a truck that has certain safety technologies. Number one is that the truck needs to have automatic emergency braking system. Second thing is they have to have forward facing cameras in the truck. The third thing is the truck has to be governed at max of 65 miles an hour top speed, okay? It cannot be more than that. The fourth is that they have to go through a 400 hour apprenticeship program basically with an in-cab trainer. Now this in-cab trainer has to have five years of experience, minimum 26 years of age, and in the last two years, they should not have any kind of fatal crashes, accident, incidents on their record. So these are the big things that you have to keep in mind when bridging or helping if you employ or you're thinking to employ any young drivers in order to become the truck drivers that can cross the state lines. Up to this point, the truck drivers, you could still obtain a CDL, but the issue was that you only could haul or deliver or do trucking within your state. So if you're a truck driver who's in Iowa, you can only deliver loads in Iowa. You cannot go to, from Iowa to Minnesota. With the new regulations, you can become a truck driver that can at the age under 21, which is amazing because this will open a bigger driver pool for trucking companies that they've been wanting for a long, long time. ATA last year came out in October. They said that we need over 80,000 truck drivers for the shortage that we have in the industry, right? Now, opening up these three years is certainly gonna help that. S the current drivers, the older drivers, they're a little bit pissed off because they're, they're looking at like, the younger population is always involved in more fatal crashes, and the stats say like, you know, Drivers who are from the age of 16 to 19, they're three times more likely to be involved in a fatal crash than drivers at the age of 20 or older. So, you know, stats are in the right, it does favor the older drivers with what they're saying, but there's no right or wrong way. And why I say that is because if you look at Canada, we already have, you can already get a license at 18 and drive all across Canada, and we're okay, right? So. Yeah, crashes happen no matter what age or country you may be in, but it's been a rule of getting a license at 18 since forever. Now, the current drivers are fighting that, you know, they've been fighting about getting better wages, better work conditions, and now they have not addressed those issues, but just included this younger population to be thrown into the pool. So they're kind of a little bit not feeling that, but at the same time, if you look at it, a trucking business perspective, it's like the numbers have to work in order to give your current drivers a raise, right? Like the consumer products, people are trying to, the, the shippers or the manufacturers are trying to make it as cheap as possible. The transportation cost is like, they're trying to squeeze every single dollar. So how do you upkeep with those two acts that are wanting, one is trying to come down and another one is trying to go up, right? Like you're trying to give your drivers a raise, but your shippers are wanting better rates to haul that freight, right? So having this new three year population just come in is certainly gonna ease up. Now I will also give you measures how you can actually capitalize on this and help see drivers in your trucks on this new thing that they've introduced. First mental shift that you need to have in your mind is that there's nothing wrong in hiring somebody young like that because you know, a lot of people will say, oh, that person is young, like they don't know how to drive. It, there's two sides of the story because imagine a truck driver who's grown up in a family of truck drivers, right? Like maybe father was a gran truck driver, maybe grandfather is a truck driver, maybe they were a farmer or like some farming background, been grown around machinery, have been driving or been around trucks since the age of four, right? Versus somebody 
who got their license the first time at the age of 25. Who do you think could be a better driver right off the hop, right? So age is just a number in that scenario. And the other thing you gotta look at is like, you have to go through almost same kind of vetting, you know, running their reports, their background checks, as you would if you were to hire somebody that was 24 or had some sort of experience. Now, we don't know exactly when this entire apprenticeship program is gonna be live, it's gonna be going actively everywhere, but this is the information that is available. So being proactive is the best thing that you can do. Now, what you can do for your trucking business in this case is that start advertising to drivers if you can offer all the eligibility things that I mentioned, right? Like they have to be trained by an in-cab trainer, your truck needs to be like automatic emergency braking system, has to have like a forward-facing camera, one load, no hazmat loads. You can, most of you could or potentially could arrange to set up like a load training program for these drivers, okay? If, if that's something that you wanna pursue and I would highly recommend you should, okay? You can start advertising online because now you're tapping into younger generation who's glued to their phone all the time. And I've been talking about, if you've looked at any of my older videos or other videos in the channel, I've always talked about is like, go online, throw a little video of like what you're offering, what your trucking business is about, and that's the best way to get attention of the right kind of truck drivers that match with your offer or what you're looking for. This could not be true with what is going to happen in the upcoming time with this new change of now younger population being eligible to become a truck driver, right? So the best thing that you can do for your trucking business is put in measures to actually accommodate these new changes, start advertising online, go to Facebook, put a little video, and I'll link up a video above this channel where you can learn how you can actually find truck drivers easily um, and you could do the exact same measures. They're gonna perform really good, especially now you working with younger trucker truck drivers. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell because that bell will tell you anytime I release a great new video, it will come directly to you. You can come and watch it and get that value. In the comments, let me know if there's more that you wanna know, and if there's any questions that you have about the trucking business and how to find truck drivers or how to retain them, whatever it may be, whatever is on your mind that you would like to know, drop that in the comments. I personally reply and look at those comments.